Welcome back to the homestead, everyone. It's a beautiful, sunny, but cold day here uh, today. Today is a Sunday, and we're gonna go over to the Willow Community Center because that's the start of the Iditarod race. So let's get the snow machine warmed up and let's head over and check it out. This year's Iditarod has the least amount of mushers in it since it started. This year they have 36 mushers. And a major factor to that is the price to get all the supplies out to the various checkpoints. You gotta fly everything out. And with the cost of fuel, cost of dog food, everything, it was just too much for a lot of the mushers that normally race in it. I believe the least amount of dogs a musher can start with is 12. Most do start with around the 16 mark. Often there's an odd amount because they have a lead dog that can't run beside it, any, any of the other dogs. So often it'll be like a 15 dog team. And that allows them to be able to drop a couple dogs along the way that just gets worn out or happens to have an injury or anything like that. Yeah. I was just getting ready to say that. I was standing here in awe. Oh, I was about to ask you if you made it yourself. Did it down from your grandma? With this kind of... Who's down in Pittsburgh Pirates, that threw knuckle balls? I can't remember who it was. I'm down here on the lake. This is Willow Lake I'm on. And they always used to have the staging area right here, actually on the lake. They'd plow all this down to ice like a week before and make sure it was nice smooth ice. And they'd pull all the mushers trucks and equipment trailers 
and this is where they get all the dog teams set up and ready to go and the start was actually right about here somewhere in this general area but back in i believe it was 2016 or 2017 alaska had a really big earthquake it was a 7.2 or somewhere in there earthquake in the fall time and they deemed the ice unsafe at that time to park the vehicles on because the ice was so fractured that they didn't want to take the chance of a vehicle falling through or anything like that and people getting killed because of that. So they decided to uh, move the, all the vehicles up on the other side of the Willow Community Center. And have the staging area up there. And I believe they also at that time moved the starting line up from right about here, actually on the lake, up the hill on dry ground so ever since then they've just been doing it that way i personally liked it when everything was down here on the ice i just thought it was a little bit more cool there's a famous song by hobo jim called uh, the iditarod trail and in it uh he sings about how long the trail is it's a approximately 1049 miles it goes from here in willow alaska out to nome alaska where the one of the famous uh gold discoveries were back in the late 1800s early 1900s the race is classified as being 1049 miles every year it's slightly different because the trail has to change slightly here and there going out through the woods and out across the wilderness of alaska so some years it can be uh i think the lowest was in the mid 900 mile mark This year, I haven't heard exactly how many miles the race is gonna be, but everyone just calls it 1,049 miles. I don't know if you can see it, but right over there is Denali, the tallest mountain in North America. One housekeeper. Jesse has a loyal following of television viewers around the world from his appearance on Life Below Zero. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There he goes. The first musher on Iditarod 51, Jesse Holmes, bib number two. Next in the shoot, we'll have bib number three, Bailey Vitello from Milan, New Hampshire. Bailey, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Millie, two minutes, 
So next in the shoot, we have bib number four, Milla Porsild from Denmark. Milla started mushing in 1992, running a team of Polar Husky sled dogs for Polar Explorer Will Spiegel on a three month long sled expedition in Canada.
it's so cool that people line the trail and the mushers will give kids and everyone high fives and stuff as they come past. Here comes another one. I just did. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals I'm in my brain All of a sudden I'm looking at me I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient Okay And they're off to Gnome the 2023 Iditarod, all the mushers have come past here on Long Lake and they're off to Nome. The first one should be getting in uh, in about nine days or so. So if you want to follow the race, go to Iditarod.com and sign up and you can GPS track them. So that's going to end it for this video. Everyone have a good day and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.